guys welcome to our new video today in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the classification of the bacteria when uh, the word classification is the first we uh, classified the bacteria on the basis of the shape it is divided into two types one is cocci and another is uh, the bacilli cocci the meaning of the cocci is rod shape and the meaning of bacilli bacilli or rods here uh, the meaning of the bacilli is a rod shape bacteria is divided on a uh, on two types one is cocci and one is bacilli on the basis of the shape and further the cocci and bacilli are divided into two types on the basis of gram staining that is one is gram positive cocci and one another is gram negative cocci further uh, bacilli is also classified into two types one is gram positive bacilli or rod and another is gram negative bacilli gram negative bacilli or rod in uh, cocci cocci uh, let's discuss about the gram positive cocci inside the gram positive there is the staphylococci and streptococci gram positive is further divided into two types one is staphylococci and another is st uh, streptococci inside the staphylococci uh, there uh, inside the staphylococci there is three sub heading one is staphylococcus aureus another is Another is Staphylococcus epidermidis and next one is uh, Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Staphylococci, staphyl inside Staphylococci there is three types Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus epidermidis and Staphylococcus saprophyticus. In Streptococci, Streptococci is further divided into five types Streptococcus pyogenes, Streptococcus pneumonia, Streptococcus agalaxia, Streptococcus uh, group D, Streptococci and Bredians, Streptococci, Staphylococcus and Streptococcus. Inside Streptococcus, there are five types Streptococcus pyogenes, Streptococcus pneumonia, Streptococcus agalaxia, group D, Streptococci and Bredians, Streptococci. Cocci, another type of uh, cocci is the gram negative cocci, gram positive and gram negative. The inside the gram negative cocci, there is the Neisseria gonorri, that is gonococcus, and Neisseria meningitis, that is meningococcus. Now, uh, bacilli. Bacilli is also uh, on the basis of staining, there is also two types one is gram positive bacilli or rod, one another is gram negative bacilli or rods. Inside the gram positive uh, bacilli, there is uh, inside this there is a cornibacterium cornibacterium species and cholesterium species cholesterium species inside the cholesterium there are uh, one two three four types of cholesterium uh, species that is cholesterium titani cholesterium botulinum cholesterium perfinges cholesterium difficile or cholesterium ulci and bacillus species and listeria monocytogen that is uh, these are all these are the gram positive rods gram inside the gram positive there is a cornibacterium and cholesterium species inside cholesterium there is cholesterium titani cholesterium botulism cholesterium perfinges cholesterium difficile or wilchi bacillus species and listeria monocytogens now gram uh, negative bacilli or rods gram inside this gram negative uh, rods uh, enterobacteriaceae escherichia coli uh, salmonella shigella klebsiella Proteus, Vibrocolary, Helicobacter, Campylobacter, Pseudomonas, uh, Cocobacilli, Enophilus influenza, Enophilus turkey, Brodotella partulis, and Legionella pneumonia. In inside uh, this gram negative rods, there are a lot of species we already mentioned. And uh, in the last, uh, there is uh, the one thing is that uh, the bacteria that does not take the gram is 10. It is one important question. And uh, it is with, with one exception, all the intercellular bacteria do, that does not take the gram stain except the Neisseria gonorrhoeae. Neisseria gonorrhoeae take the, the gram stain. Neisseria gonorrhoeae, uh, Neisseria, all intercellular bacteria does not take the gram stain except Neisseria gonorrhoeae. Neisseria gonorrhoeae is the gram negative cocci. And uh, the intercellular bacteria is also divided into two types obligate intercellular, uh, intercellular, and facultative intercellular. Inside obligate intercellular, there is chlamydia and rickaxia. And in the facultative intercellular, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Mycobacterium leprae, 
and this area gonari, which is a gram negative okay we already mentioned and uh, this is all for today's keep watching guys support uh, support us and uh, we are in the classification series we will uh, made another video of the classification series like this thank you